Hi guys, my lips look so shine mainly because I have some Vaseline on them. I was gonna order some groceries online and Mercedes called me this morning and she's like, cancel the online, I'm gonna come or we're gonna go to the store. So we went to the store and ended up doing the grocery shopping which worked out perfectly. Today's trash day, so I have like a lot of little things that I want to throw out. Y'all know how I feel about the bottles being in here. I bought milk, so I'm pouring this one down the drain because old milk is gonna make your ass on the gates. Old milk will make you run to the toilet. I got some eggs, so I'm putting them in my egg container. I mean, I didn't even taste it because there would be no point holding that one in the fridge and I bought the new one, so I didn't even bother. But also, I know that the best before date on there, but I turned up the, the temperature in the, in the fridge. So whatever's on the top shelf is always gonna be good for a longer time because they're almost frozen. Oh yeah, guys, we went to the store, ended up going to the pharmacy, finally picking up a prescription that I had for Mia. Guys, last night when I went to work and left her and her grandmother, she fell asleep. Mommy put her to sleep. The girl ended up waking up and was crying hysterically. Now, she doesn't really do well with new people to begin with. You gotta be around her for a couple of hours, but the turnaround time between um, mommy coming and me having to leave to go to work, it was like right there. So I had to leave and then it would have been a little bit before her dad came. And when I tell you, when I tell you, the girl was in here bawling. Mom said she thought something was wrong with her. <laughs> so she was trying to see her. I'm telling her no. She just isn't really the best with new people. So she'll cry. But also, she's not like crying for forever or whatever. She likes physical touch. And then, oh, so eventually she like calms down or whatever. Right now she's sleeping. This morning she woke up and they were the best of friends. She was not crying or nothing but also that was her only option so i don't know if it's that she warmed up to her or if it's that she realized that that was her only option her dad ended up coming home after a little bit of my mom said um you know he settled her a little bit and then she went to sleep so overall she had a good night but since they've been up this morning they've been inseparable so i suppose that is the good thing she realizes that okay she's been here for a little bit now she's I'm supposed to like her <laughs> or something I don't know and I did the big grocery shopping water a big bag of rice everything look at how much baby food I have for Mia packed up in there all the little um pureed stuff and I bought some um I bought and you know she really eats now she eats one packet at a time I give her probably one per day so I'm gonna have for like the next month because I have 32 but also she's growing so she might be eating more and I mix the rice cereal into it a little bit into it so it, you know between the rice cereal and the oatmeal that I blend myself I mix it in and give her something that gives her a little bit of substance so yeah I got two more of these I got some chocolate chip cookies for when I'm having a sweet tooth I bought this at the grocery store before and I really liked it they were nicely baked well, the banana. I have four banana that I could use to make a banana bread. I don't know when I'm going to make that. Too much is going on around here right now because mommy came and she brought stuff that she made and everything. So we have quite a bit of stuff in here. I was even afraid that what the meat that I bought at the grocery store wouldn't hold in the fridge. But, you know, it just takes a little bit of rearranging. I thought mommy would have seasoned them, but she didn't. So I'm going to have to just season them when I'm ready to cook. Oh, you know what? That's... Italian sausage. The nanny would have to come Saturday because you're not going to be here and I work Saturday. Hello everyone. It's currently 11.38 p.m. and I'm, however you say, closing up the kitchen or turning down the kitchen for the night. And it just came to my mind to light this candle and um, basically just get some good smells going in here while I clean up. Because now this this candle looks like it's burnt out though. It is a Sunday, however, um, no trash is outside because tomorrow's a holiday. So 
We're gonna have to put the trash out tomorrow night. Yeah, this is definitely done. You know, I wanted to buy some small one the other day, but they weren't having a sale on the small one. So I'm basically um, putting away the food. You know how long I've had these containers? So I'm putting away the food and I'm also, did I wash this already? Yeah. And I'm also washing up the dishes because as y'all know, I don't like to put food in the fridge in pots. In addition to that, um, I want the kitchen to be clean when I wake up in the morning so I can just jump into breakfast with Mia. Where's that computer on from last night? Like I expressed earlier, I did go to the grocery store, so it's nice and full. The scandal is not going at all. I'm going to get a new one. This one is Tis the Season. This one already went out. I'll just put it in the trash. This one is Tis the Season. And while we're not in the Christmas season anymore, definitely still going to burn that one. Let me get the, candle, the scissors to trim the wig. I'm going to the wig trimmer. So we can trim the wigs. Beautiful. I feel like when I'm cleaning up the kitchen and I'm turning down for the night, I like to light all the candle and stuff. So we're doing that to be wiped off. Um, I had dinner and I definitely had seconds. I also slept for about four hours and that was so, so good. Um, such good sleep. I mean, I slept for about the same amount of time. Or maybe I slept for three hours. Can you remember? I just got up and said I was going to throw out a plate. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just clean up the kitchen same time so that it doesn't smell like food in here in the morning. See? Tis the season. It smells nice and Christmassy. It smells like pine trees. Like Christmas trees, I guess. If you don't know what that smells like, I can't give you a visual. So we're just putting away the cups and stuff out of the drainer because I do not like when the drainer is over full too. But the utensils, the forks and spoons, I'm not going to touch those because those are going to make noise and Mia is sleeping. I also, when I went to the store today, I was able to get the batch of formula that I stopped giving her change because I ended up speaking to the manager and that was super amazing that he just changed it without issues while the other lady who works here was just giving me the run around basically all week long. So irritating. So the manager said he would change it and he would contact the people to see how he's going to be reimbursed. I have a pot in the sink soaking because that one, the thing that my mom made was sticking to the bottom. But tomorrow we literally don't have to cook because there is food in the fridge, which is always good. Because you guys know that I be meal prepping and not having to cook for a couple of days at the time. So that's great. I'm going to have a little cookie. This might be my third one or fourth. I'm going to watch TV. Oh no. I'm gonna transfer all this to my computer and stuff. See you guys later.